approaching women, I would say, is one of the hardest things that a man will be able to encounter in his life because it takes a lot of unconditioning yourself. That's what it takes. It takes a lot of you getting over all the things around what it means to approach. Now, what I mean is that you don't have to come to the point where you're like, all right, I've really figured out that everything around approaching is me being afraid to do this other thing in my life. And now that I know I'm afraid to do that, I'm really afraid of strangers. That's not what I mean. I don't mean you have to get over so many different things to be able to approach. But what I'm saying though, approaching in itself, women, if you don't have a good foundation or a good way of going in, a positive spin on why you should go in, then you're left only with your fears. That's what I'm telling you. So me being someone who have been approaching thousands of women and over many years, I've come to the understanding that anybody who wants to approach people need to understand why they want to approach. Because if you just want to approach beautiful women to be able to approach, it's not good enough. It's not leading you anywhere. It's not enough charge behind it. Do you see how when I say to when I say to someone, or you may say to me or to someone else, I want to be able to yourself. I want to be able to approach women. I want to be able to approach beautiful women. That is not enough. Because what's going to happen when you've done it? You don't get any payoff from that. You don't get any benefit from you just wanting to be able to approach women. You didn't say, I want to be able to approach beautiful women and spark up a conversation and move it in a direction where I know me and her are getting to know each other and from that, move it in the direction of sexuality. If that was the track, it would be very easy for you to approach women. But because you've only narrowed it down to, I want to be able to approach women, you lose motivation. Have you ever found yourself in a situation where you want to go approach a girl, and I don't, this is for many, this video is many for you guys who are not approaching, and you're thinking to yourself, I want to approach her, but I just don't know how to approach her. I want to go talk to her, but I don't know how to go talk to her. I have this approach anxiety, so I don't. I, so how do I get over this so I can go talk to her? You're only dealing with the initial. And the fact that you're only dealing with the initial, it is very hard for you to have motivation for going in. Because when students come on our workshop, it's amazing that they tell us, I want to be able to approach women, or I want to be able to approach beautiful women. That, to us, means nothing. That, to me, sounds like, I want to get away from my fear of not approaching and just go do it. That's it. That's what it sounds like. It doesn't sound like to me, I want to be able to go bring women into my life in this unusual way. That's very, very different. That, that no way sounds like that. I know in some way he means that, but he hasn't even given himself enough self-reflection to be able to go, what I really want is that I want to be able to approach women so I can do this, do this, so we can bring each other into each other's lives. I want to be able to do that. The beautiful thing about that is, once you say all of that, now you have a direction you can go. One of the greatest things about a man is that if he has a direction that he can go with something, it's much easier for him than, than to just flow. That's a feminine aspect, which we all have in us as men, but that's not going to be able to give you the motivation. Men are very, very much, if you have a masculine essence, very much ignited by the mission to go do something. That ignites all kind of fire, especially if it's a line. It ignites a part of you. 
And in the beginning, I used to just want to go up and be able to approach. I remember when I used to go out and I used to be like, you know what, I want to be able to just approach women. So the first thing that I did was what I'm going to tell you later, but the first thing that I did is that I went out there and I started doing it alone. And I was doing it alone, doing it alone, doing it alone for years, really. And all I was thinking about, the approach, the approach, the approach. And I was thinking about, I'm going to do 10 approaches today. You know what? I'm going to approach this beautiful woman today. I'm going to approach this group of girls that has this beautiful girl in it. I want to be able to approach a beautiful girl in a group. That was great. It was a great experience for me. But guess what? I never ended up with the women. Never did I end up with the women. Over the years, yes, I had some women, but I never ever ended up with the women that I wanted because I only wanted to be able to approach. So that means that I didn't have any clear direction on where I was going. I was like, all right, well, I've done the approach now, and I go through the motions of talking to the girl and then trying to see if we can meet up for a date. But what happened is flake after flake after flake after flake after flake would happen. And I got frustrated because all I wanted to do was approach and be able to spark up the conversation and let the girl know that yeah I approached you and I'm this man and 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 not most most men won't do this so you should give me the credit by being able to go on a date with me you should give me the credit by giving me your number you should give me the credit by having sex with me but it never worked out why did it never work out because I was only focused on the initial and the fact that all my energy was fo focused on the initial I put all my focus on that one little area and that became the importance. So yeah, I wasn't afraid to approach anymore, but I still wasn't getting women into my life. And what does that mean for you? That means that <clears throat> if you keep telling yourself, I want to be able to approach beautiful women or I want to be able to approach women, that's great. That's great. Then what? What about when you can approach? Then what? The reason that approaching women is so fucking hard for you or even to get started is because all of your focus is on the initial. It was easy for me to do it because I was totally aligned. But guess what? I still didn't get the women I wanted in my life. So that whole thing, if I want to be able to approach women, fuck man, I was total, that was totally me. I wasn't afraid to approach. Well, at times I was. I wasn't afraid to approach, but I never got women in my life because I only focused on the approach. The real reason why going to approach women is so hard is because all your energy is focused on just approaching, and that energy that's focused on just approaching is an avoidance. That energy is an avoidance to going through the whole process. Stay with me. I wanted to go approach women. I did. And... I found the motivation to be able to do that. I did. But guess what? When I would go up to these women, I would dread silence. I would dread being able to ask her questions I wanted to ask her. I would dread the moments where I didn't know what to say. I would just dread it, dread it, dread it because I knew that I was avoiding that. And I knew that I wanted to focus on something that's very, very easy to do, but I was avoiding the rest. And the way that this relates to you is, when you say, I want to be able to approach women, understand that that's not moving in any direction to getting the woman. The only direction it gets you to is being in front of her. But the actual process of bringing her into your life, that does not happen. Because you stick with this one point. And many guys, they're very much stuck in this one place. Because they're like, you know what? Right now, I'm not approaching. But what I want to do is that I want to go approach. And I go, okay, great. Now that you want to go approach, what is the reason behind wanting to go approach? This is now the insight that's going to be able to create everything that you want and get you started to go speak to women. It's what is the reason behind you going to approach? What is the mission that you have behind going to approach? I got amazing at being able to talk to beautiful women and approach beautiful women. I got amazing at doing the initial process, but I fucking sucked at everything else. I sucked at everything else because 
all of my energy was focused in this one place. So guess what? I got amazing at that, but my results were very little after that. So to stop you from going on the same path as myself in the beginning, I'm here to tell you that having a clear reason why you're going up to women, meaning like all the way through, will give you the chance to be able to approach more easily. Going to approach a woman is very difficult. It is. It's very difficult because maybe at this point you don't believe you're worthy of women. Maybe at this point you believe that only there's a certain level of women that you're entitled to and you're not entitled to anything above that. Maybe at this level you believe you're unattractive, blah, 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 blah. All these things you may believe. Let's face it, you may believe that. But, what if I told you that you can feel all that and still approach? Do you believe me? Do you believe that you can feel scared? You can feel unworthy? You can feel like you're unattractive and still go approach? You can still do that. Because guys, what they tend to do is that they tend to just wait until the perfect moment. They tend to just wait. They're like, man, I'll just wait to then. I'll just wait to then. And for me, I know, I know for sure, in the beginning, what I used to do is that I used to just wait for the perfect moment. I'm like, right now, I feel my heart is racing and I feel like I'm uncomfortable to go do this. So I'll just wait until this sensation passes and then I'll go do it. But guess what, as soon as the sensation would pass, the girl will either be gone and I will feel creepy about following her <laughs> or the girl will still be there but the moment I start walking towards her the sensation would come back because all I was waiting for was the sensation to leave and this was another avoidance thing I'm like you know what I'll just avoid doing the rest and just focus purely on when, there's, when, when the sensation is going to go and then I'll go up This is what I'm going to focus on. But nothing, nothing, nothing was working out for me. Nothing was working out for me. And I just started to figure out there's something going on that I'm not doing right. I'm going up to all these women and I'm saying hello, but I'm not getting the results that I want. I'm not doing it. And what happened was that I still felt approach anxiety I'm only saying this so you guys know what that is because there's no such thing as approach anxiety but I still felt approach anxiety so I went all right what's the best way that I can do this based on what I know based on the way that I operate based on what I know is going to be able to get me to somewhere how can I do this in a way that's going to give me the chance to not only just be able to approach but be able to bring the women into my life because if you really want the key to this part in the beginning is shift the way that you're saying it and immediately your, your guidance, your mission will start to change as well. So the shift is, I want to be able to approach women. Shifting to, I want to be able to bring women into my life by approaching them on the street by approaching them in any location that I want. That is a difference. That leads you somewhere. That gives you the chance to be able to get the women and not just be able to have the skill of going up. So the anecdote, antidote, sorry, anecdote is a life story. The antidote is this. My mission is, this is the antidote, the antidote, it's my mission is, my goal is, the what I want is, and it's not to be able to approach, that's just the beginning. I don't want you guys to go down the same path as me, or the same path as anybody out there who's telling you, be able to approach women. Just go out there and approach women. I'm like, that's great. Approaching women is great, but getting the women into your life is even better. You need to shift your focus around it. And when I shift my focus around it, what happened was, 
I started to get the results that I've always wanted. It wasn't just, I want to be able to approach beautiful women in groups, because this is what I used to do for myself. I want to be able to approach women in groups. I want to be able to go at night and I want to be able to fucking go into a group of girls and approach the beautiful girl. Approach, approach the beautiful girl, approach the beautiful girl, approach the beautiful girl. In all situations, I've learned that. I learned that in the beginning and I became the master of approaching. I literally did. You can put me in any situation now, why not be scared? I've done daddy, do I've done dad, daughter, I've done families, I've done mom, daughter, I've done every single situation where it's like big fucking groups, small groups. I just learned so well how to do the approach, but I never got the results. And I don't want you guys to follow the same route as me. So to fast track your success, have a reason, a clear reason why you're going up. Have a clear reason for why you're going up. The reason is not to just be able to go, I think you're beautiful, or you look sexy to me. That's not a fuck, that's not enough. <laughs> it's not enough. Because that's not what you really want. That's only a part of what you want. What you really want is to be able to approach women, have great conversation, lead them to your bedroom now on the street, wherever you are in your uh, learning. Go on an instant date, go on a date and bring the woman home. That's what you want. You don't have to sit there like, all right, today I want to be able to do this and this and this and this. But I challenge you to make a, cl a clear, clear reason on why you're going up to women. Because this is the thing that's going to allow you to get started very, very easily. My clear reason in the beginning is that I just wanted to go up to women. I want to learn what it's like to talk to women on the streets. Talk to women and I started off in the mall. I went to the mall every single day for a summer. <clears throat> and I just was approaching women. That was clear for me, but of course I wasn't bringing any women into my life. Then it became, I want to be able to talk to women and, 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 and move through conversation and get the women that I want in my life. Then it was, I want to be able to go get the women who like me for me. So I started to make these clear reasons why I was doing this. Before it was so fucking hard because I didn't, to bring women into my life or to just approach and have all this anxiety still after I've done many approaches because I was avoiding this clear path that I know I wanted. So I challenge you guys to be able to see what is the clear path right now that I want with women based on where I'm at in my skill. Right now in my skill, I may not have ever approached a woman. Great. I, I, I'm going to start from I want to be able to approach women, learn about conversation, and then through that process be able to get women into my life. You need to understand that you need to see all the way through to the end so you can be able to give yourself a clear reason why you're going up. This then gives you a motivation. Just thinking about the approach doesn't give you motivation. It doesn't. Especially if, somebody, if you're somebody who's thinking, man, I just I'm, I feel so scared to approach. I don't know how to approach. To, to, to give you leverage, you're gonna have to be able to see through to the end for you to be able to see what is the payoff of me approaching. Because right now, the, 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 the perceived fucking cost of approaching to you is, I'm gonna feel scared. The girl's gonna think I'm creepy. This, 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 and this. You're just looking at all the downside. So what I would want you to do, and what I would like for you to do, is to look at what is the thing that I'm after in this. What is the reason I'm doing this? What is the clear reason that I'm in this journey? Right now, what is the clear reason right now? And the moment you start looking at what is the clear reason right now, like all the way through, to the end of the thing you actually want. Because you don't want to just have sex. You want to be able to bring women into your life. Not just in this meaningless way. For the guys who watch my video, what I do know about you is that you care. You care about women. You care about connection. You care about yourself. You care about being a good man. You care about being someone who also can love and share with the world good energy. I know that's what you care about. looking down the road and being able to say this is what I want 
this is. I want to be able to share love. I want to be able to have sex with many different women so I can know what I like. I want to be able to have sex with women that I like. I want to be able to figure out what are women like when I bring them into my life. You need to look at the end. You need to look down the road at the end and then go, that is the thing I want and formulate from a place of alignment, what is it that I need to do to get there? This is the way. So what can I do right now to be able to show you guys a good way to get started, a good way for you to be able to go down the process and be able to approach women, of course, but to look even past that because that's just the beginning to what is it that you really want. What I would say is, what you can do, and what I would like for you to do, what I would like for you to do, is to write down where are you at realistically right now? Where are you at? You, have you never approached before? Have you been approaching occasionally? Have you, ever been, have you only been approaching when you see a woman that you absolutely want, but everything else you don't do? Where are you at realistically right now? And then from this place, I want you to formulate something clearly that you want. A real reason why you want to go out here and you want to meet women. A real reason why you want to go approach. Because the why behind the approach is going to give you the motivation that you need to go approach. So. If your motivation is to understand the feminine, great. I want to understand the feminine by bringing the feminine into my life. Do you notice that I say, bring the feminine into my life, into my life, into my life, which means that I want women in my life. I'm not just saying to approach, I want them in my life. I don't know much about what I like. I've only had a few girlfriends and you know, they were all right, but I want to go out there and explore what kind of women am I good with? What kind of women do I would say that I don't like? And through that process, I want to bring women into my life who are different types of feminine energy. And I want to figure out which ones that I like. I want to go out there and I want to meet many different types of women. I want to be able to approach and meet many different types of women so I can see who do I really want to share love with in a long-term setting. Because maybe what you want is to have a family. I don't know what you want, but what is the reason why you're going out there? What is the clear reason at the end that you can see in your heart that you want to go out there? There must be a clear reason that you're going out there and it must be aligned with your heart. I mean, like, what do you want? What is it that you truly want right now with women? Do you just want to go out there and have sex with women? I want to go out there and I just want to have sex. Great, if you do, get off my channel. You do? Because that's not going to lead you to anything. If it's, I just, I want to go out there and I want to have sex with women that I like, great, stay here with me. Because just having sex will not lead you to anything. It only leads you to knowing that I can have sex with women that I don't know. But having sex with women you like, it, it's a very, very well process with you that teaches you that, fuck, I need to work on this. Because women you like, they bring up things inside of you that you need to work on. Also, they bring out the best in you. What is the clear reason why? This is going to give you the motivation to go out there to approach. I promise you it is. I promise you that's going to give you the motivation that you're searching for. Because you're like, I just can't get motivated to approach. That's because you don't know the clear reason why. You're even afraid probably to even look at the clear reason why. Because right now you probably don't think you're worthy of that. And it's okay that you don't feel like you're worthy of that. Feeling worthy of that is already there. It's just the realization for you to come into. So right now, you don't have to feel worthy before you go out there and talk to women. People make it seem like you have to feel worthy first and then go, no. It's go out there without the idea of what worthiness means. Give up on what worthiness means. Give up on the idea or the realization of what worthy means and you'll become worthy. That's the beautiful thing about self-worth is that when you let go of the need for self-worth, you become worthy. When you let go of the 
I need to become this, I need to do this, I need to be like this to become self-worth. When you let that go, you become worthy. That's the great thing about it. So before you approach, you don't have to be worthy. You just have to want to go out there and do it. You just have to want a real reason why you want to do it. Because in that real reason why, you're more than enough. You just are afraid to put it in motion because that means that you have to go against what you currently believe in yourself. And that's the hard part, I must say. The hard part is going against what you believe currently right now. I can't shuck and jive you. That is the hard part. But if you would just find a clear reason why you want to, and be very, very clear that you're not saying, I don't want to be like this anymore, say everything in the affirmative. I want to go out there and I want to be able to meet women, learn about how to uh, have a connection with them, and I want to bring them into my life. That's what I want. If you want that, great. Stay with what you want. Do not at any moment go to, I want to be able to go out there and meet women, and I don't want to run out of, run out of things to say. Immediately you're going in the wrong direction. Bring it back to the affirmative. I want to be able to hold a conversation with the girl and really get to know her as she gets to know me, and I want, to, I want that to lead to us both having sex because we like each other. Great. This is now something. This is enough oomph underneath for you to be able to do. And a very small drill you can do is just go out there like I did, and bit by bit all I did was give out compliments. That's all I did. I started out giving out compliments of, excuse me, I think you look like this, and I would just leave. This is what I did to just keep, get myself going in the beginning, so to speak, warm up. In the beginning, I would warm up like this, where I would just go out and give many compliments. And then, from there, I would then see a girl and I would be like, alright, I'm committing to this one. I would just go there and fully commit. But I would do that after a first, first doing some warm-up compliments. If you find yourself not being able to approach at all, just practice complimenting. First, go out there and just do warm-up complimenting. Do that. Because all you're doing when you're warming up complimenting is that you're being able to just give out the truth of what you see, the truth of how you feel. And as you do that, you start to generate energy in yourself to be able to continuously speak the truth of what you feel. And as you do that, you see that girl and it's going to be very, very hard, probably difficult and scary, but commit fully to the approach. Commit to going through and if you fuck up it's okay just you're going through the process of being able to bring women into your life in the way you want to it is a process and the moment you avail yourself to the process results start to show up you start to notice difference in yourself and you start to feel life you start to feel life right now you may feel dead you may feel like energetic life is far from reach for you but I can tell you that the only reason why it's in far reach is because you haven't looked at what's going to give you the happiness that you deserve right now I want to be able to approach it's not enough it's definitely not enough it must lead somewhere for you to be able to want to go do it and when it does, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. You know, I'm always giving you something new. And it's also something new that I want to give you. I've created a video series, which is Approach to Bedroom. And I'll be showing you everything from what do you say upon an approach, not what to say, but how you can say what you want to say, and being able to have the mindsets to go with that, being able to be in conversation, being able to take the woman home. And along this path, just giving you insights into things that may pop up to give you issues. I've covered it in this video series that, you know, packed full of about three hours of me just giving you guys everything that I can say is going to be the best from approach to bedroom. If you want this, it's totally free. If you want this, click the link below and what will happen is that you'll get a video series sent right to you and check it out. Until next time, I'm out.